After last week's heavy rainfall, one community is asking for help. I'm Fox 4's Bella Line, and neighbors here in the Harlem Heights community called me out to see this partial flooding that is still left from that rain. But they say this doesn't compare to what it looked like just days ago. Three days only, and we couldn't get into our home. The flood has returned to Harlem Heights. Imagine if another hurricane comes. So we're trying to see if anything could be done. It's a cry for help we heard after Hurricane Ian, and now we're hearing it after a tropical system dumped 16 inches of rainfall on this area all last week. Homeowners like Yvonne Rivera and Evelyn Roman say they were once again trapped in their homes. It was too similar to Ian. A lot of flooding. It felt like it was the same thing, repeating it all over again. Evelyn Roman has lived on Church Street for 30 years and blames a drain that she says doesn't work. They need to right here with the canals that go a little bit more deeper. If they go deep, this will go. Yeah. It will take at least some of the pressure off. When I asked Lee County about the situation, they issued the following statement that said in part, the county would like to remind residents that roadside ditches and swales may hold water for some time after significant rain events. The Lee County Natural Resources and Lee County Department of Transportation work year round to be prepared for excessive rain events. DOT worked to maintain drainage systems throughout last week's rainfall event to help roads remain clear. And even if the infrastructure takes time to drain, it was enough where Yvonne almost lost a third car to the flood after losing two in Ian. For Evelyn and Yvonne, the solution is simple. We need some help. Reporting in Fort Myers, Bella Line, Fox 4.